Bring all the mistletoe, I'm gonna get to know you better. This Christmas, Merry Christmas, Marasaka. Today, the most complimented fragrances for me this year, 2022. Let's go. What's going on, YouTube? Tube of you? You of tube. My name is Darian. I go by the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, and I talk about fashion and fragrance on this channel. So subscribe to the channel, and make sure you click the bell icon so you don't miss future content when I upload it on this channel. So on today's video, I'm jumping into my top 10 most complimented fragrances from 2022. And 22. You're gonna see designer fragrances on this list. You're gonna see niche as well. You're gonna see the fragrances that got your boy the most compliments. So if you wanna see what's on my list, you know the routine, man. We're not gonna belabor the time. Let's get into it. So keep it locked right here when we come back after the intro. My top 10 most complimented fragrances of 2022. You don't wanna miss this. All right, guys, we are back. We are back. We are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Uh, really quick, guys, December 13th through uh, 13th, 14th, 15th, I think the 13th, 14th, and 15th of this month, which is a perfect time for the holiday season. We're going to be running a special promotion on the fragrances I did with Novitis. The more you buy, the more you save. I think it's if you uh, buy one, you get 20% off. Two is 30 3, 35, 40, uh, 4 is 40 or 45, and then um, 5, you get up to 55% off. And if you guys are new to the channel, just let me give you a quick rundown. These are the fragrances I did with Novitis, Sartorial Nui. This is a really nice, sweet signature scent that has tonka bean. Uh, there's some orange blossom in here as well, and vanilla. Really nice signature scent. Then you have, oh, 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 so devil nail. The namesake of your boy, because I'm a devil. Fell on myself, <laughs> I must say so myself. Old Devil Nair, man, nice, uh, really clean, uh, kind of floral fragrance, uh, citrus fragrance to wear. I would say when it's hot outside. This is gonna be the spring and summer fragrance for my collection. This is the perfect fragrance to wear, spring, summer, definitely unisex, so ladies don't be shy. You can pull it, oh my God, it smells good. Guys, you gotta get your nose on this if you haven't. Um, Probably my most popular scent that I've done with Novitis in my first collection, this is Lyric. Again, another one that I say is definitely signature scent worthy, man. This is so good, man. This is a, a almond vanilla tonka bean fragrance. That's, that's how I would describe, describe this one. So if you like almond, you like tonka bean, and that kind of stuff, I think you're gonna love this fragrance right here. Then of course, Serenade. This is the fall winter sky killer right here man this thing is so good uh this one as well as the next one i'm going to talk about but serenade man look at that bottle if you don't get it for anything else get it for the bottle this stuff is so good though oh man this is a coffee fragrance this is this is a coffee fragrance right here and then you have divine aphrodisiac uh which just has that infamous peanut butter accord this is the perfect time of year to rock this one as well so man if you don't have them perfect time to get them Get them in your life, man. I'll make sure I link them down below. Break and head on over there and check them out while we're running this special promotion. All right, guys. So the number 10 spot on my most complimented fragrances of 2022 goes to a fragrance that hasn't been in the collection that long. Uh, but when I've worn this, I've gotten compliments straight up. This is from the house of uh, YSL. This is La Nuit de Lome Blue Electric. Lime Weed Alone Blue Electric. I probably had this for about a month, month and a half now in the collection, and I have worn it two times. Both times I have worn this, I have gotten multiple compliments, and that's why it is on the list. The first time I wore it, I got on the elevator, I wore it to work, got a compliment on a, the elevator from a complete stranger. She said, I don't know what it is, that what you're wearing, but it smells really good. And I was wearing this right here. 
It does remind me a lot of the original Lanui Delon, but this has this slightly spicy, uh, almost rosy nuance to it. Cause they added some geranium to this, uh, this particular composition. And again, geranium kind of give this slightly rosy, almost aquatic vibe to this fragrance in a, in a weird way. So it kind of has this blue undertone to it, added to the original Lanui Weed Alone, and it is an absolute home run. I think this is discontinued. Why? I have no idea. But if you can find yourself a bottle of this, this is signature scent worthy. Again, it's from the house of YSL. This is Lanui Weed Alone Blue Electric. You don't have to read the names on these because there's so many flankers, but yeah, blue electric. All right, guys, this next fragrance gets a lot of compliments. And for me, it's a, it's a no-brainer because of the fragrances that the DNA resembles. This one is from the House of Bodicea the Victorious, and this is called Consort. This one's called Consort, and I have done a full review on this. If you have not seen it, I'll make sure I link it to the video. But this, to me, is what you would get if you combine Hachivat from Nishane and you combine, combine Creed Aventus. This would be their baby right here, consort. It's really good. And guys, you know how it goes. For most of you guys, probably it's probably the same. A lot of these fragrance DNAs that smell similar to a vintage really do the trick a lot of times when it comes to compliments. So this one is no different. I really, really enjoy it uh, because again, it's kind of the best of Creed Aventus and the best of Hachibot kind of rolled into one fragrance. But it comes from the house of Bodicea, the Victorious. And again, this one, guys, look at that bottle. Gorgeous. This one is called Consort. Coming in at the eighth spot, I haven't worn this fragrance as much this year as I have last year. But when I do, if you're talking about fragrances, I get compliments. This one is really, really, really hard. In my opinion, I'm hard pressed to be out in public and somebody not say something to me about this fragrance. It's from the house of Bond number nine. This is Lafayette Street. This is Lafayette Street, and I kind of started the hype train on this fragrance because it is good. I love the House of Bond Number no. Nine, and if you love Bond Number no. Nine fragrances, you have that Bond Number no. Nine DNA here. And of my Bond Number no. Nine, since this is one of the most complimented, this as well as scent of peace for him. I've worn this one a lot more this year, and like I said, when it comes to the compliment factor, this has it. So check it out, it's from the house of Bond number nine. Again, this is one of my favorites, man. This is called Lafayette Street. All right, guys, the next fragrance on my list, this one actually comes from the house of Tom Ford from the private collection. And it's this right here, man, Lost Cherry. Lost Cherry, it is just something about this scent DNA. When I wear it on my skin, with my skin chemistry, it works. And I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret. I layered this fragrance. This is top secret right here. I layered, layered this fragrance with this. Feb Delicios from Dior. And this is a match made in compliment heaven. So if you have both of these fragrances, guys, I highly recommend you try this. Get all that, you know, syrupy kind of sweetness and tacamine and all that kind of stuff from um, Feb Delicios and you add some cherry to it. <laughs> or you enhance the cherry because there's already like a cherry accord in this, but you enhance it with this, the cherry and the vanilla and tonka. Home run. So anyway, this particular fragrance got me a lot of compliments this year. And if you have it, it's probably doing the same thing for you. It's from the house of Tom Ford. Again, this is Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list, a lot of guys are going to miss out on this fragrance because they're going to smell it and think that it leans too feminine. I know how a lot of guys think. If you're going to think that way, you're going to miss out because this fragrance is absolutely fan fantastic especially when it comes to the compliment factor at least on my skin and this fragrance comes from the house of the harmonist and this is called yin transformation yin transformation my God. guys this thing smells heavenly it, it, it sincerely it smells heavenly it is really heavy on the florals and again i know that's going to turn some guys off florals and white musk is really what this fragrance is all about. There's some Phrygia in here, there's some Orchid, there's some Yanglang, uh, Hedion, Rose, white, clean white musk on the base, but this thing smells absolutely phenomenal. And when you put it on your skin, I told you guys before, oftentimes ladies are attracted to things that they like. And when you put it on masculine skin, it just does something different so check it out, guys. Trust me. 
at least get a sample of it and wear it and see what I'm talking about. It's from the House of the Harmonist, and this one is called Yin Transformation. All right, this next fragrance is probably shouldn't come as a surprise. I got it in 2021 when it was released. I've given it its fair share of wearings towards the end of last year and as well as this year, and it works just like its predecessors from the house of Christian Dior. This is Sauvage Elixir. Sauvage Elixir, man. Listen, it smells like uh, the original Sauvage. You can detect that here, but then you have those spices, that cinnamon and nutmeg in this scent, and it's perfect. And as a matter of fact, this is the perfect time of year, in my humble opinion, to wear this because in the fall and winter, this thing rocks. Now you can actually get away with wearing it, in my humble opinion, uh, year round, because it still has that Sauvage kind of DNA to it. But the addition of the spices here really helps to with the longevity and actually the performance, in my opinion, in the cooler months of the year. But it gets compliment, guys. It gets me. It got me compliments this year. For a good reason, it's from the house of Christian Dior. Again, this is called Dior Sauvage Elixir. All right, the next fragrance on the list, this actually comes from the house of Chanel. This is from their exclusive collection, and this is Chanel 1957. 1957, man, this thing is it's hard to explain. When you originally put your nose to it, you might think uh, that it may not get uh, a lot of compliments because Initially, it's one of those fragrances that may be a little hard for you to detect yourself, but it's one of the ones that kind of just linger around because it's really built around the note of white musk. It's really clean, but there is something magic about this scent as it relates to my skin and what, you know, the reaction that it gets from or elicits from people when I wear this fragrance. It's really clean. It's a clean, fresh fragrance. Again, white musk is the main note here, and I will tell you, it works. People love clean and fresh. You can never go wrong with clean and fresh, and you can't go wrong with this fragrance from the house of Chanel. Again, this one is called 1957. All right, this next fragrance on the list. Oh my God. This one comes from the house of Boulder City Victorious as well. I can't tell you how good this is. There's no words that I can, can say that, and I can convey this through this camera how good this fragrance smells. It's really expensive, so guys, get a sample. Get a sample of this, wear it, and see what it does for you. It's from the House of Boat of Sea of the Victorious, and this is Blue Sapphire, man. Blue Sapphire. This is a game changer. This is a game changer. It is coming to my Rose Oud collection of fragrances and move right on up to the number two spot. I'm not even going to, I'm done with this. Try it. And coming in in the number two spot, this fragrance actually comes from the House of Creed. Uh, you, this is no surprise, man. This is a vintage cologne. A vintage cologne, man. Look at this bottle. To say I have so many fragrances, I knock this fragrance out, man. I get a lot of usage out of it because it's one of those fragrances I know I can just wear. When I don't know, if I'm not sure what I want to wear, I usually reach for something like this because it smells good. It smells good and almost every time I wear it, I get a compliment. Listen, guys, I don't know what some of these other guys out here are doing or where they are not going when they wear fragrances or what kind of disposition they have or what they look like either as far as their attire, but <laughs> I just really, really find it hard to believe that someone will wear this scent and they will look decent, look nicely manicured, look decent, not be a jerk and wear this around multiple people and somebody not say that you smell good when you wear this. It's really hard for me to believe that it is. Well, with that being said, guys, this is a home run for me. Home run, if you talk about compliments, just get it. From the House of Creed, this is Aventus Cologne. And coming in at the number one spot on my most complimented fragrances of 2022, I've talked a lot about this fragrance. If you guys have not tried it yet, shame on you. It's from the house of Maison Sir, and this is Ode Jean Jean. Ode Jean Jean, again, this is a ginger centric fragrance. I don't have words for it. Don't have words for it. It's uplifting, it's fresh, it's vibrant, it smells phenomenal. You guys just gotta check this one out, seriously. I could go on and on about how good it smells. On and on. And again, I just got this fragrance earlier this year, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 
and look how much I've used. And for me, that's a lot. That is a lot in one year because I have so many other fragrances, but I turn to this one because it simply works. It works. So check it out, guys. It's from the house of Mizen Sir. My most complimented fragrance of 2022 is this right here. Fresh, clean, and vibrant. This is called Ode Jean Jean. But that is it, guys. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today as I gave you guys my 10 most complimented fragrances from the year of 2022. As always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. Then don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information to find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good. And of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you flip side.